Hello, Norway family. It's my turn to give you a devotional message today. I'm going to start with a reading from Matthew 25. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. In these scary days, these words came to mind because even though we're most of us stuck at home, there are so many who continue to need our help and our care. How we do that may vary over the weeks to come, whether it's a phone call or sending a card, but some of us need even more help than that. I was very proud of one member of our church family way last Monday before any of the orders and things started. She emailed me early in the morning on the kids' last day of school, and she said, I'm gonna be home for a while, Pastor, so if you find out anybody needs help shopping or picking up their prescriptions, let me know, and I'll take care of it. Well, I do happen to know at least one shut-in family that could use help, and I'm pleased to say I matched these two folks up, and now I have a helper, and a healthy, both doing God's will, both doing what they're supposed to do. The older couple able to stay home and the younger woman able to offer her help and service to her neighbor. No one knows what the future is going to bring other than we'll always have people who need help and we'll always have people who can be helpers. When I was a little kid, one of my favorite TV shows was Mr. Rogers. That's why I have a quote from him on the back of my business card now. But a great saying of his comes from looking for the silver lining in any crisis. He said, when I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. To this day, especially in times of disaster, I remember my mother's words and I'm always comforted by realizing there are still so many helpers, so many caring people in this world. Mr. Rogers. Find a way today to be a helper. Give someone you know a call. Find out how they're doing, what they need in the midst of this crisis. Find a way to be a helper. And if you are someone who's a helpee, somebody who needs that help, make sure that we know that too. Either way, send me an email. Make sure that I know that you're available to be a helper for someone or if you have a need for something. If you need your shopping done, if you need your prescriptions picked up, let us know that too. We'll start two lists. And hopefully I'll be able to do even more of the matches that I did last week. Connecting helper with helpy. All in service to the Lord. Four, that truly I tell you, just as you did to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Amen.